Yes, you've tuned in to the original. <laughs> Just got here. It's very hot and humid. I don't know how long I'm going to be here. It could be one night. could be six. I got some little projects to start on. We're going to try and knock down some of the humidity in here. I'm going to show you how I made a homemade humidi dehumidifier. Gonna spray some vinegar on some of the wall here where it looks like it's a, a little musty. Got some rain coming, so uh, I'm gonna have to turn off the generator in just a little bit. But right now it's running. I've got the AC going, trying to cool it down in here. But man, it is hot. Got a little bit of hose. Uh, I'm gonna add some hose over here on the side. Anyway, stay tuned. So just straight vinegar is supposed to help with uh, kind of moldy stuff. It's kind of musty in here. So, uh, you know, it doesn't get any air circulation. We're gonna try and solve that problem too. When we're not here for a long time and there's no air circulating in here, it gets musty as crap. Not Scottish. So straight vinegar is supposed to help this stuff a lot. It already smells like a salad in here, and it's nice. So this is the first thing we're doing. Say hey, we, we aren't doing it. I'm doing it. You guys aren't helping a damn bit. Good. Get off your butt and get in here and help. Not really. <laughs> uh, next thing I'm after is uh, when I go to the meter and hook up the hose, I have to reach way down in there and try and find the threads. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm going to put this little extension on there and uh, a push pull attachment. Hopefully, it doesn't leak. But uh, I'm gonna put that on there. So all I have to do is put push pull the hose on there and then turn the water on. So here's what I made. I got a Home Depot bucket. I got a popcorn can. I drilled holes in them so I could run this PVC pipe through both of them. Thus suspending the perforated, I drilled holes in the bottom of it, perforated popcorn can, like so. Sodium chloride, that's right, rock salt. And uh, what I really tried to get a hold of calcium chloride supposedly works better for absorbing water so this is a homemade dehumidifier you fill that dude up right there and It'll absorb water, fill the bucket up. Water out of the air. Because I got all this fresh wood. I didn't let these boards dry out at all. Got a big storm coming in about 30 minutes, maybe sooner. So I had to turn off the generator. Well, I didn't have to. Some people say you can run it. Some say you can't. I've got a cover for it. And that's just in case. So I went ahead and turned it off and put it in the back of the Jeep to protect it because I don't want it getting wet and ruined. Uh, the air conditioner also uh, doesn't have an outdoor plug cord. So I don't know. It probably was a. It may be way unsafe. It may it may be stupid for putting it all away, but I do have a little rain cover put over the thing, but 
I'm not going to risk it unless it gets really hot in here. Storm probably ruined it last well, maybe two hours, looks like by radar. So I'm going to piddle around with some stuff in here. I need to rest my back anyway. Hmm. Ooh, growing a bit ominous. Oh, my Jeep is unprotected. It's about to storm like crazy. Fortunately, I'm in the cabin. I've got the lights on. It's really dark in here otherwise. a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> How'd that get there? And a solar vent. The sun's not hitting it yet, so it won't run until the sun hits in it. I didn't film putting it in up there because I was on the roof. Humidity is about 115%. <laughs> it's just too hot so uh i didn't want to fall off the roof and i was i was not using good language either you shouldn't be hearing that new trees but i did make some boards out of some of the tops that i had cut off Be able to get some of the window trim in with that. Uh, getting a little lazy, more lazy than usual. I trimmed out the window. It took me forever. It's so hot and it's so tedious. I measure one board. I go out and make it into a from a log, one at a freaking time. So. Anyway, got that. I need about 12 or 15 more boards. So it's time to drop a tree. That's one I got in mind right there. 
And I'm pretty sure it's gonna fall into all that stuff, so it probably won't reach the ground. I'll have to uh, drag it with the Jeep to drop it. <laughs> got that sucker up there that is one fat ass log there's a knot hole defect in it about right there on the other side I don't think I'll show it to you later but I don't know that's probably a 16 incher pretty good size I got more logs in that tree but oh I'm wore out and it's hot. I think I already told you that, but I'm telling you again, it's hot. But I got at least a, another 20 feet of good log out there. I got to climb into it and delimit and and get it pulled out of there somehow. I'll figure out how, but I may not do it this trip. I think I'm just got all I can handle right here. That's plenty of lumber right there. Getting ready to cut this one up. Make some boards. fix that pothole that just keeps getting bigger and bigger and then maybe this one and pea gravel is for the lateral lines drain field of the soon to be made septic tank I hope that tree that I'm cutting up making all these boards out of not making you watch me do that but it's really not a very good tree. It's got a whole bunch of ant damage. So I'm having to go slower and cut out this part, this part, that part to avoid those ant damage pieces. So anyway, looks like uh, I got the back of the shower wall done. This is the last one.
and that completes the window trimming section <laughs> all the windows are trimmed Burning another scrap pile. It's about the last thing I'm going to get done before I go home for this trip. This is the third time I tried lighting that damn thing. It finally caught on. I eat steak and drink whiskey. <laughs> I don't have any steak tonight, but we're having, yeah, beans. Make me feel like a cowboy. Hell yeah. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Well, we are having whiskey, so that counts. My brand new window unit that I just got won't come on. I cleaned the filter. I reset everything. I've done everything I can think. But it's just dead. The GE piece of crap. 85 degrees gonna be a long night very hot what a way to end a week of work window unit has been removed yeah i hate that thing all right so i have salt in place sodium chloride and i have some sodium chloride and I got one over there that I made. But the one that I bought online, it's a pre-made one, has a calcium chloride block in it, which calcium chloride is what I tried to get. I dumped a, over an inch of freaking water out of that thing. And it's just been a few days. Be sure to tune in next week for more exciting adventures from... The original. <laughs>